In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get realistic voice narration right inside Adobe Captivate. This video is brought to you by the Murph Voices Installer from Murph Incorporated. Murph Voices Installer is the ultimate tool for Adobe Captivate developers who need quality voices for their e-learning development. No more robotic sounding voices for your content. With just a few simple steps, you can incorporate voices into your favorite Windows platforms that use the Microsoft Speech API, or SAPI for short. I'm excited to start using the Murph Voices Installer for all my Adobe Captivate projects. To me, this is exactly the text-to-speech service I've been looking for since I started using text-to-speech over 10 years ago. You should know that while Murph has sponsored this video, the products and services I talk about on my YouTube channel are products and services that I would use in real life as an e-learning designer developer. I've placed a link in the description of this video where you can sign up for the Murph service that is appropriate for your needs. Please use my link to let Murph know I sent you. Let's get started using Murph. You can select to be billed monthly, or if you wish to save some money, select the annual plan. I recommend the business license as you will get eight hours per month of voice generation and access to Murph voices for Adobe Captivate which I'll be demonstrating later in this video. Like many of the latest text-to-speech services, Murph offers the ability to work on your voice narration clips directly within their web application. You start by creating projects where you can select the voice, the style of narration, the pitch and speed, and you can copy and paste the text you wish to render into the field and optionally add pauses and adjust pronunciation of certain words. I recommend that you split your narration by blocks. This way, when you're finished working on all your narration, you can download your audio narration as individual blocks. For the purposes of e-learning, you can consider a block to represent all the narration that might occur on a single slide. Select MP3 if you're planning on using MRF with Adobe Captivate, and you can select whether the file will be mono or stereo. Mono is usually all you need. One of the things I like most about Murph.ai is the fact that you can install voices in a similar way that the voices included with Adobe Captivate Classic and the all new Adobe Captivate get installed. This standard is the Microsoft Speech Application Programming Interface or Microsoft SAPI for short. The advantage of Microsoft SAPI is that you don't need to use the web interface to render text-to-speech. You can create your Murph text-to-speech right from within Adobe Captivate. This is nothing new for Captivate, but the voices provided with Adobe Captivate have left much to be desired. In addition to the sign-up link in the description of this video, there's also a link where you can download the Murph Voices Installer for Windows. Once downloaded and installed, you can launch the Murph Voices Installer and select the voices you wish to use inside of Adobe Captivate. If you're like me, your clients can come from anywhere around the world. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to select an English UK voice and select Theo. Next, I'll select the narration voice style, as this is very appropriate for e-learning. I will set the speed to be minus 20 and the pitch to be minus 10. I'm doing so to illustrate that there are some controls that you can adjust to satisfy your client's needs. I've certainly had clients who wanted to slow down or speed up text-to-speech voices. I've also had clients who want a lower or high-pitched voice. Until now, I've not been able to do much to satisfy their desire for something different. When you install your Murph voices, these adjustments become part of the voice installed. Click the Install button to add Theo to your computer for use in Adobe Captivate. You will get prompted to give a name to your voice. I'm going to stick with the default, but know that you can override this if you wish. It just takes a few seconds and your Murph voice is installed. Click OK and close the Murph voice installer until you need it again. 
Launch Adobe Captivate and open the project you wish to use your MRF voice with. Let's start with our first slide, a title slide. Click on the audio icon in the Properties Inspector toolbar. Make sure no slide objects are selected by clicking on the thumbnail in the Slides Navigator. Click on the drop-down arrow in the Import Audio button and select Generate Text to Speech. Enter the narration text you wish to use for this slide in the closed caption placeholder. I have found that rendering all the narration at once for this slide creates a better result. You can edit the closed captions later to reflect one line of text at a time. Click on the voice dropdown and find the MRF voice you just installed. Once you're ready to render the narration for this slide, press the Generate Audio button. At this point, you could adjust the transition marks and copy and paste the text to represent the actual closed captions you're gonna see. Click the X button to return to the regular Adobe Captivate timeline. I like to put a small pause before the narration begins. Expand the timeline to reveal the audio narration. Click on the half second mark on the ruler, right click on the audio clip and select start audio from playhead position. This will make the audio sound a little bit more natural. Click on the preview button to hear how your MRF audio narration will sound. You're a salesperson traveling to meet potential clients for an office equipment company. Today, you're meeting John, a procurement manager at a medium-sized company interested in upgrading their office printers. Press continue to get started. This sounds so much better than the voices included with Adobe Captivate. I know my clients and their learners will appreciate it. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.